I'm not sure we really qualify as a startup anymore. We've been on the market for six years now. And apart from other things, we are also supplier uh, to Her Majesty's government in the UK. And we've got deployments all the world. And I'll show you some examples throughout the presentation. Really today, what we want to do is show you what it is we do, uh, why we do what we do, and also how we do it. So let me just jump straight into that. The real drive behind, behind our work is that we want to make the world a better place. We live in this uh, built environment and it's quite difficult to turn these lovely looking marketing images and videos into real life spaces. And this is actual example from one of our projects in London, uh, Woodworth 430,000 uh, square meters of usable space and so on. What people don't appreciate and what they don't normally show you in marketing videos is the complexity behind all of these projects. All of the different parties working together, they have to collaborate. It's, it's a mess. It's a lot of stuff that happens um, over a long period of time, massive cost and complexity. And many of these buildings are usually one-offs. So that's where we really step in and that's our software and our solutions really help. So what we do is we provide a cloud platform. Different stakeholders can publish their data. They can communicate with each other. But because it runs in the cloud, you can access it directly through the web browser. You don't have to install anything. You can very easily communicate with your partners. You can go in and identify problems. You can mark up issues. You can identify health and safety risks. You can really manage the progress on your project in real time, get statistics, and try to get a better value out of what you do for your clients. So 3D Report really helps you track progress, make informed decisions, and ultimately try to deliver projects on time and on budget. So to show you the real deal, this is 3D Report in action. As I mentioned, it's a cloud platform. It runs on a web browser. You don't have to install anything. No more any kind of firewall issues for other clients. Uh, different stakeholders connect remotely. They can upload their partial models, create federations, mark up the issues, assign them to different parties, and resolve them in real time. The example you see here is our latest project called Safety Base, specifically targeting the health and safety uh, risk management, which normally would happen on projects in tables and spreadsheets, and it becomes kind of an unwanted child. So instead, we, we provided this kind of gamification of the process. During design coordination, anyone working on a project, as soon as they see a problem, they can easily mark it up, assign to someone to deal with, and hopefully you can resolve the issues before you even turn up to site. In this case, you can see someone climbing out the cup of the excavator might fall over the railing because um, it's not high enough or if you have a swinging arm that could hit someone so you have to you have to pay attention to those kind of things another piece of functionality we've got is called 3d diff this pattern pending it's very unique to us and what it does it highlights changes in 3d models so anything that has been added as a volume is uh, marked up as green, and anything that's been deleted is red. And you can very easily flick between those. The beauty of the system, and once again, runs real time on the client, so there is no more pre-calculation necessary in the cloud. And we can compare any 3D models, regardless of where they originate from. So we can compare Revit to IFC, to PDMS, to the cloud, to anything you want. And for those people who ever dealt with lawyers, you know that um, you need to read the contract only once, and from there on, you look at the red lines. Same principle here. You only need to uh, look at the issues and the changes over time as the model progresses. But also, uh, you want to check that they haven't changed something they're not supposed to. This tool is very popular with our clients for purposes of legal litigation, design coordination, and similar type of use cases. Here's another example of what we do, also patent pending technology. Uh, we call it Instant Clash. And as many of you know, uh, Clash detection is, is kind of a popular thing in the marketplace. And this is our own spin. So instead of highlighting whole objects of where the intersection happens, we actually show you the very specific points where the problem is. So in this case, you can't have a pipe coming through steel beam because you can't physically build it in, in real life. However, 3D Repo is not just about data. Uh, sorry, not just about 3D models. It's, it's all about data behind those models. So another piece of functionality we have is called smart groups, where people can very easily validate the information behind the models. You can set up these uh, very easy, uh, manageable um, custom checks at the beginning of the project. You save them, you create them once, 
And from there on, each time someone uploads a new revision, the system automatically recalculates. We use regular expressions behind the scenes. And in this case, you can see filtering windows. So I want to see all the exterior windows on a building and you can drill deeper. So you, you might want to filter out uh, based on specific criteria or let's say you would want to see only windows on floor one and so on. Other, another example would be making sure that all the doors have fire rating of at least 90 minutes. So these kind of checks, no longer you need to spend all the time and effort setting up, let's say, uh, rule checks and rule sets in solid model checker, but we really give access to anyone through the web browser and um, democratize the access and process entirely. However, 3D repo is not only about buildings. We don't really discriminate data. Um, here is an example of our project for infrastructure, this case uh, in Greenwich, London, uh, miles and miles of row network wings, laser scan then recreated in 3D. And you can then once again drill deeper. This specific project was uh, for autonomous vehicles testbed. So testing um, virtual code and virtual autonomous vehicles in 3D space without endangering, endangering um, pedestrians in real life. If you have uh, project coordinates and um, um, laser points, then you can also map the project directly on GIS maps. Here you can see we have uh, track restrictions, real-time traffic, and so on. So really the scalability is, is what we are pushing for. In terms of positioning, 3D Repo is a cloud platform. So everything sits in the cloud and there are solutions that we build on top. And there are also solutions that other companies have built on top. And I'm going to show you some of those examples by third parties. Here's an example integration with Power BI that's very popular these days. Instead of producing a static report for our customers where you have a PDF and you just pass it around, they have a live access to the database. So you can immediately see when there is a problem on a project, who is not resolving the issues, how many problems you have, what needs to be done, so on. So as I said, this is very, very popular. Another integration right out of the press is uh, our integration with Microsoft Teams and the Microsoft Lewis platform, having real-time natural language discussion directly with the database. So you can type in questions and the system will answer natural language uh, requests. And then you can communicate these kind of pieces of information with your colleagues very, very easily. Also OpenText, the largest software company of Canada, they integrated their call for supply exchange system into 3D Repo. Once again, it's a system that allows uh, exchange of information and data. In this case, subcontractors and suppliers, they need to pass information uh, to the main contractors for approval process. And if they upload any kind of bin data, it gets passed to 3D Repo for processing. They can then visualize it. In this case, very simple IFC model. They can, we can crack open the information and retrieve all of the data behind the scenes as well. It goes through the entire approval process and you can then go and buy the two solutions together uh, relatively easily. The very latest integration, which is not uh, publicly announced, so this is the very, very first one. Uh, it's also work that we are doing with Luminova UK, company specializing in these uh, real-time near photorealistic uh, visualizations. This project is the Heathrow Terminal 2 London. And once again, 3D Repo platform, the entire system behind the scenes, passes the information into custom viewer, which allows you to visualize the data and get access to all the information, once again, very customizable. So the kind of uh, work you would be able to do with, let's say, Autodesk Forge, you can then use 3D Repo. The main difference is that we open source. We can install on-premise, in the cloud, or anywhere else the customers would want. And scalability is also number one things that we do. Finally, I would like to draw your attention to a number of case studies. These are available on our website. And also, you can create free accounts for 3D Repo. For free, you get 100 megabytes of space. You can upload your models and you can expand your work from there on. Thank you very much.